also when you backwash your filter, what happens is the grids expand with water and you push all the dirt and debris off the grids here. You see they puff up with water. Backwash the grids puff up with water so the water flow is reversed. That's what basically backwashing does. It reverses the flow of water so the water goes inside the grids, pushes everything off on the outside. Backwash the filter when the pressure goes up 10 psi, and when it gets up to 20, I'll either backwash it or take it apart and clean it, depending on if it's been six months or not. And one thing you can do with your filter is take a sharpie, and you can actually mark on the pressure gauge when it's clean and when it needs to be backwashed or taken apart and cleaned. That's a good way to keep track of when to backwash and clean your filter. I recommend tearing down the view filter every six months for a thorough cleaning. Every time you backwash your filter, you have to recharge it with diatomaceous earth, without exception. So to recharge your filter, you're going to need to know how much to put back in. I use the Aladdin D scoop. I have a video detailing the scooper. And for a 24 square foot filter, you want to put two scoops. When you backwash a 36 square foot DE filter, you want to put three. When you backwash a 48 square foot, you want to put four. And this one here is a 60 square foot. So you want to put about five scoops into this one here. And that's a good rule of thumb. There's no exact number, but that's what I, that's what I use in the field. And it's very effective. This here is the push-pull backwash valve. It's very common. This here is a Pentair FNS Plus filter, and it's got the push-pull backwash valve, which is a piston that you pull up to backwash the filter, and that reverses the flow into the grids. Here's a very old Titan, American Products Titan D filter. It's got the multi-port backwash valve here on it. Here's a 4000 series filter. It's got the same backwash that the 2000 series has, made by Pentair. It's got the rotor valve on the bottom, the backwash the filter. First thing we want to do before we backwash the filter is pull out the basket that's in here. Pull out the basket. Sometimes air can get back in a line and push all the debris back out into the pool. So let's get the skimmer basket out. Here we're going to go ahead and turn off the filter. And this is a 60 square foot filter and it's got the push-pull backwash valve. So right now the backwash is locked. So in order to unlock it, we turn it to open. And then we're going to pull up on the piston. Now I'll go ahead and turn on the pool and backwash it. And you want to backwash the system for about a minute to two minutes for a good backwashing. If you turn on the filter and you're getting nothing but clear water, I'll show you what you need to do at that point. That means your filter is getting pretty dirty in that case. Usually the V will start coming out within the first five or ten seconds. We're going to turn the pool on. You'll see a backwashing. Pull it right into the sewer. Okay, after the minute and a half or two minutes, you want to go ahead and push down. Now sometimes when these are getting old and not functioning properly, it's hard to push down. You have to really put a lot of force into it. So this one here is a little bit stiff, so you got to really push hard to get it go to, to go down. And that, that means that the backwash is actually wearing out. Sometimes it's even hard to turn it back to the lock position. And basically on these multi-port valves, I just go ahead and do filter and backwash, and I don't use the other functions on a DE filter. So again, I'll just do the filter all the way to backwash, like this. And then I'll just backwash the filter, and then I'll go back to the filter mode. And you want to kind of go in the same direction, keep it going in one direction. Actually got stuck right there. Put it back to filter mode. I normally don't use the rinse mode or the waste mode on the V filter when I backwash it. I allow the multi port backwash valve when you're backwashing it. You have a backwash flask here. You can pick up the heat trap. So why it's backwash, you can look at the glass and you can see how it's going. And if it gets clear, you know that you can stop, turn everything back. So this handle actually works. You can just pull it. There you go. You can pull it all the way the other direction. And that's how the backwash is engaged on the 2000 and 4000 series. Pulling the backwash in the other direction. And 
in to put it back in the filter mode, you want to push it all the way back and make sure it hits all the way on the other edge. You want to reinsert the skimmer basket at this time, and we'll go ahead and charge it with DE. So when you recharge the filter, you want to make sure there are no animals around the area, because the DE is very toxic to animals and to people. So I'm going to go ahead and give these dogs some treats to get them out of the, out of the, the area here. Give this one. That should keep them away while I put the VE in the filter. You also want to wear a mask. The VE contains silicate, which is a cancer-causing element in it. I wear my safety glasses and a mask when I use DE in the pool. You want to pour the scoop in slowly. I'm going to go ahead and put five scoops in here just like that. If you see DE returning to the pool, that means that one of the grids may have popped or broken in the backwash process, which happens sometimes. And once in a while when you backwash your pool, the one of the grids will actually tear and rip, and then you'll see DE and debris going back in your pool. You'll have to take your filter apart and actually inspect the grids at that point. And it does happen when the grids start to get old, they will burst and they will pop uh, in the backwash process. Okay, this particular backwash valve is really stiff, it's not even going back down. I'm going to go ahead and just replace the whole piston. It's about 12 years old. Just unscrew this nut here, and we're going to pull up on the piston straight up. Hopefully it comes out all in one piece. Sometimes it's in there really stiff, it doesn't come out as one piece, and that's another issue. In there pretty good. out for me. Just typical sometimes. They wear out. You can give it a little twist. Kind of twist it out. Whew. It was in there pretty tight. You can buy your new one as a complete unit like this here with the whole pipe and everything. All you need is the top part. You can also buy it as a kit. It comes in a bag like this just with the piston itself. You have to put the O-rings on. I'll show you how to do that right now. And this one came actually just with the piston itself and the two O-rings. And the O-rings come in a bag like this. We'll take it out and we'll put the O-rings on. Again, you can just replace the O-rings if it's worn. I'm going to go ahead and slide the O-ring over this part. It's the bottom part of the backwash. You'll have to get it over the bottom first and slide it down and then get it over the middle. And then I'll lube them up and it actually comes with lube from Pentair. You can use the lube that came with it. I just tore it open and we'll put it around the o-ring really good. If you don't do this, this thing will wear out really quick. In the closed position, so it's going to be pointing towards the filter like this. Again, it's going to slide in. Push it all the way down. That's the closed position. I'm going to go ahead and lock that on good. Test it. Return it. We'll pull it up. You can see this one is moving really well. It's coming up and down, no problem. So that's the trick with the piston when they start wearing off. Before you toss out your push-pull piston, you might want to try lubricating the O-rings with some magic lube. You get this at your local pool store and see if that helps with the stiffness of the um, piston. Okay, the next kind of backwash valve is called the multi-port backwash or select the flow valve. And it's this one here where they have filter, waste, rinse, and backwash on it, depending on your type of backwash valve. The problem you're going to have with this one is that the spider gasket inside will go bad. You'll see D leaking out of the backwash line or into the pool. The spider gasket is either in the bottom of the manifold or on the bottom of the multi-port valve itself, like this one here. Uh, and that has to be changed if the E is leaking back into the pool. Another problem you're going to have with these, sometimes the handles will leak. There's a spring right here and sometimes that gets jammed by turning it multiple times and they'll jam an O-ring. This actually is a brand new unit but it's defective because the O-ring inside was leaking right when I got it. So Hayward actually just sent out a new unit. 
So when this type of multi-port valve gets stiff, doesn't turn anymore, or the spider gasket fails, you can actually just replace the whole top unit. You just unscrew it, and then you drop the whole unit into the uh, plumbed and back wash area in your pool. If you notice your handle turning fine, you might just want to replace the spider gasket, and that should solve the problem of any D leaking into the pool. That's the only thing that keeps it separate from each chamber. Backwash hose like this here and run it to a dirt area in your yard or the uh, sewer in your house through the P-trap. This one I actually have draining out into the sewer line here, this account. Backwashing your DE filter into the street is a definite no-no, especially in a state like California where everything is regulated. So you definitely don't want to do that. You want to run the backwash hose to a dirt area behind your house. And this is a sand filter. I have a whole series of videos covering backwashing the sand filter type. It has a multi-port valve also on top with the filter and backwash on it like the one I just showed you earlier. Now if you're at your filter and you look at your plumbing, you don't see a backwash valve anywhere in the plumbing or underneath the filter. You see a black drain plug or some kind of drain plug like this in your filter. Chances are you don't have a D filter. You'll look at the label if you can read it and it'll say cartridge filter on there. This type of filter you can't backwash nor do you need to add DE to. 